I don't even know what I was saying. Everything was such a rush, but it was amazing. It was, I mean, it was unplanned. I had no idea that. I'm about 30 minutes from uh, Cape Renga, I think. And Cape Renga is the most northerly point in New Zealand. Uh, I was really debating even coming out here in the first place. It's sort of out of the way and it's one way in, one way out. So I was staying in Tutukaka uh, yesterday in Northland and I think it was about a four hour drive to get up here, which wasn't as bad as I was thinking, but still four hours of driving is four hours of driving. And then I think it's going to be closer to six hours to get back to Auckland. So it's, you know, kind of out of the way, kind of, I don't want to say wasting time, but a lot of driving time. But I decided to go for it despite, you know, the weather not maybe looking ideal. I'm going to make the most of it here. And so I'm committed to going and I was doing some quick research and there's pretty much nothing up here. So on my way up here, I found this place, which is the last stop, if you will, before um, before the, the most northern point. Uh, somehow this place didn't come up, but for 30 bucks I got my own room. Uh, I'm, I think I'm, as I said, I'm about 25, 30 minutes from, from the actual lighthouse tip, so pretty convenient and uh, once you get out here. There's no cell reception. They don't offer Wi-Fi here, so completely off the grid, which is kind of, it's kind of a nice place to be. So what time is it now? It is three o'clock, so I'm still way ahead of uh, sunset. On my drive up here, I don't want to call it overcast. There's definitely pockets of blue sky, but it is quite cloudy. So it's going to be really hard to figure out whether sunset's even going to work or not, or, whether, or how it will look. But I think I'm going to head up now and it's very possible that the sun might come through some of those pockets of blue sky and whether it's on the lighthouse or on the grounds or on the water, that could create a very interesting look. And so I, I might have to just exert some patience up there, but try and make the most of it. And I don't know, I guess if I stay till sunset, that's almost four hours, but there really isn't anything else to do here. So I might go explore, look at a few different compositions. It's a bit windy, might fly my drone make the most of uh, this long drive in and out. So let's get going. kind of around here. I walked up on this hill the first time, walked down, walked past the lighthouse. Very nice view even just in front of the lighthouse. Then I'm walking back up here and been kind of framing different compositions along the way, took some shots and <clears throat> I kind of like all of them. <laughs> I find, I, I don't know, like the, the, the pathway, the ridge line looking up, looking down, this beautiful sort of hillside with uh, all the greenery like it all it all works together so well and uh, yeah I don't know I kind of like all of them I mean I'm happy to do like another loop um, some of some shots I got where the sun was actually sh shining and I got some nice shadows other ones it's kind of just very flat like this so I think if I do another loop you know conditions are always changing I can be a little bit more patient but uh, I'm gonna have to sort of pick what I want for sunrise because I do want to hopefully get like that sunrise shot and you know i don't know maybe for sunset as well it's a little bit hard to tell how it's going to end up i can always sort of play it by ear but you know it's a big enough space that i can't really i might try but i can't really run around and get those different angles those different compositions all at like sunrise or sunset so i'm gonna have to pick one and i'm not sure what to do so uh yeah i might review uh, some of the shots i took in a little bit more depth and sort of decide which one works we'll see
got my rain jacket back on. This morning was a little bit interesting. I was just flying my drone. I thought it was going to be a good break to uh, to just do some filming, talk about uh, what I was doing, and then I then I turn around and get all my stuff ready. And so the, the lighthouse is beautifully lit. The there was no sunrise, but the the sun has now risen above the clouds and it started to break up. And we've got a rainbow. In fact, we've got a double rainbow. Uh, I might argue I see a third. Oh my god, this, the lighting is perfect. It's right after a storm. Right after a storm can be so amazing. You got some still like dark colors in the sky, but that really brings out the contrast. And then you've got all the wetness on the grass and the green greenery, so it really makes everything pop. So, uh, oh, I'm, I'm gonna get back to shooting a few more shots. I ran back up here just to catch more of the rainbow. I might try and move around for a few more compositions. Uh, it's hard to tell of how long I have the sun, but yeah, I'm gonna keep shooting this. This is, this is great. So I think just like that, it might be over. Uh, the weather sort of took a really quick turn for the worst. It's still really, really cool and I don't mind the rain, but it is getting very difficult to, to shoot in. It's sort of this mist and the, the wind's actually really nice, but the, the rain droplets end up falling everywhere and getting rain constantly on my lens and it's really hard to keep the lens clear and if you have water droplets on it that is just going to ruin the shot so luckily I actually got some shots here with the rainbow before I ran up the hill so I think I got some nice variety I was trying to use the polarizer to really pull out the colors of uh, of the rainbow but with the rain and the giant piece of glass up front it was just collecting the water droplets and so I sort of had to sacrifice it to capture an image that wasn't going to sort of get, well, yeah, I think it would have got ruined with all the water droplets on it. So, I mean, the lighthouse is barely visible now. Like I said, I don't mind the rain and all my stuff is waterproof. So, I, no, it looks like the clouds, the sun has gone above the clouds now. I, I think that might, that might be it. I might try and get some moody shots now with this sort of, uh, rain cloud now in here, but I th otherwise I think that's it and uh, So I think I'm gonna have to call it unfortunately I'm trying to wipe off my lens and every single time I wipe it off It gets more water droplets on it before I even finish and even my little microfiber cloth is wet too So it's not even doing a, a great drying job uh, You know this morning started off really interesting. I uh, I got out of out of the the place I was staying and I thought there was a water leak and uh, then I realized it was raining. And when I had checked the weather forecast before I arrived here, there was no sign of rain. And of course I wasn't able to sort of check the weather while I was here because I have zero reception and there's no internet, no nothing. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. I, I, I was already changed, I was ready to go. So I ultimately decided to come here and it was just so dark because of all the heavy cloud cover there was no like morning dawn light and it was just dark and so i'm like okay i'll get some shots of the lighthouse lit up at night uh with just some of the path you know lightly lit and so i got those and then i was like okay i'll fly the drone and then maybe that's it and then the clouds started to clear uh and so the weather was just changing and it, it worked out so well where um I got some mood in the sky. I got the lighthouse lit up. I got the rainbow. I mean, you know, I didn't get my sunrise that I was hoping for, but I, I don't know, maybe I got something better just uh, because I decided to come here. And uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy. It's raining on me, I'm wet. I'm not cold, but I'm wet. And uh, I'm very, very happy. I also got some moody shots, so like, you know, within my time here, I, I got such a variety of shots because the weather just changed so quickly. So that worked out really, really well. I think I got some shots off before it really sort of uh, rained all over me. But yeah, oh, I was debating staying here one more night. And I definitely still kind of want to, but I feel like with this morning's outcome, I got some shots that I'm actually really happy with. So. Yeah, I think maybe it's time to make my way back down to Auckland and uh, be happy with what I got. So, uh, time to get back to the car.